<laughs> All right, everybody, let's wave hi to Andy. Make to a, make, make like a wall. <laughs> All right, don't know how much this will get, but That's we'll fine. find out. Fine. Okay. All right, so we'll start off in the Wu Chi position. Settle in, check in on alignment, check in on balance. Release tension down into the ground and open up your awareness, letting it expand out to include as much of everything as you can. And together, nice deep inhale, nice releasing exhale, nice deep inhale, Releasing, exhale. Salutations. And second salutation. And we'll come up to hold the ball on the right. Left side gathers up underneath. Stepping to the side, roll the ball over to the left. And stepping back the other way, roll the ball over to the right. Part wild horse's mane, left foot steps out with the toe pointing, shift the weight, turn the hips, left arm opens up with the hips, right hand settles down. Ah, oh, coming back to the front. I only did that once. And we'll come back to hold, to hold the ball. Right foot steps out, shift the weight, turn the hips, right arm opens up, left hand sweeps down. Sinking back, turning back to the front to hold the ball. We'll do the rest of the moves two times through. Second time through, stepping out, it's as if the left hand is sweeping up the horse's neck, right hand strokes down the horse's mane. Coming back to the front to hold the ball on the left. Stepping out, right hand sweeps up the neck, left hand strokes down the mane. Coming back to the front, right side to the top, left side gathers up. Single whip, right hand forms a beak, drooping out in front of the right shoulder, left foot steps out. Shift the weight, left arm opens up just like before, but this time, draw the left hip in, hand turns over, release the hip, left hand presses. Coming back to the front, left side to the top, right side scoops in underneath. Forming the beak, stepping out, right arm opens up. Right hip draws in, hand turns over, release the hip and press. Coming back to the front, right side to the top, left side gathers in underneath. Second time through, beak and step, shift the weight, opening up. Left hip does the hitch and press. Coming back to the front, left side to the top, right side gathers underneath. And beak, step, opening up. Hip hitch and press. Coming back to the front. Right side comes to the top. Left side gathers underneath. Waving hands in clouds. Preload to the right. You can use the zipper analogy. Unzipping, zipping up. Left foot steps out and across. Or just hands changing. Hands change. Right hand rises. Right foot comes in. Turning back. Left hand rising, left foot out and across. Right hand rising, right foot comes in, turning back to the right. Third step out, left hand rising, and we'll go across to hold the ball on the left. Preload to the left, right hand rises, right foot steps out, nice, and across. Left hand rises, left foot comes in, back to the left. 
Right hand rises, right foot steps out, and across. Left hand rises, left foot comes in, and back. Third step, right hand rising, so we'll come across to hold the ball on the right. Second time through, preload, hands change, stepping out with the left foot, left hand on top. Right hand rises, right foot in, and back. Left hand rises, left foot out, and across. Right hand rises, right foot in, and back. Left hand rises, left foot out, third step. So we'll come across to hold the ball on the left. Preload to the left. Right hand rising, right foot out, cross. Left hand rising, left foot in, and back. Right hand rises, right foot out, cross. Left hand and left foot in. Right hand, right foot, third step, so across to hold the ball. Grasp the sparrow's tail, the four-part move, stepping out with the left foot. Ward off, pung, left arm expands out, right hand sweeps down. Second part, liu, roll back, right hand comes up as if you're holding a ball. Let the ball drop and roll back past the right hip. Right hand gathers up air for the third part. G, press, squeeze the air together to the wrists, and then shift the weight forward to press. Hands separate, sinking back for the fourth part. On, rooting down, and push. We'll come back to the front, left side to the top. Right side gathers <clears throat> underneath. Stepping out. First part, pung, ward off, expanding out. Left hand comes up. Second part, liu, roll back, releasing, rolling back. Left hand gathers, squeezing for G, press. Hands separate, sinking back, rooting down for on, push. And back to the front, right side to the top. Left side gathers underneath. Stepping out, ward off, pung. Right hand comes up, roll back, liu. Gathering up, squeeze and G, press. And separate, sinking back, on, rooting down and push. Back to the front to hold the ball. Stepping out, hung, ward off. Left hand comes up, roll back, Liu. Gather <laughs> up, squeeze, G, press. And separate, sinking down, rooting down, and push on. And back to hold the ball on the right. And we'll do a closing. So we'll come back to centered stance, arms opening up as if you're scooping up energy, wrists cross, splashing yourself with all that water. Wrists fold down and then scissor out in front of you to spread the water around everybody else. Elbows drop, exhaling as the hands settle down, scanning through the body, through the torso, down the legs, through the feet, into the ground. We're back in Wu Chi, so take a moment, check in on alignment, check in on balance, release tension, and open up your awareness. And whenever you're ready, just shake things out. Yay! 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 Yay!